new all-time intraday high this morning. The S&P intraday hit a new high today, taking the other indices with it. As I speak to you right now, the S&P is up four tenths of a percent. Actually, the big outshining performer is the Russell, which is up 2.03% right now. The Dow is up six tenths of a percent, and the Nasdaq is only up about a quarter of a percent. Yields are falling along with the dollar this morning, which is down slightly. Yields are down between seven basis points and two basis points, down further out the curve, which is taking the inversion, the twos tens inversion, the wrong direction, settled at negative 24 on Friday, sits at negative 29 as I speak to you right now. And despite the lower yields, gold is just south of unchanged and silver is down 1.3%, but crude oil is ramping up again, up 1.6% above $74 a barrel on WTI. Chinese stocks continue lower. The Hang Seng China Enterprises Index fell 2.4% last night, inching closer to the lowest levels we've seen in that index in 20 years. China's weakness is not a good thing for industrial metals like copper, which is down about a half of 1% as I speak to you right now. And remember, that's what the dollar weaker. Usually those have a sort of inverse relationship, at least typically, historically they do. A BOJ rate decision is coming tonight. Most analysts expect no change in policy, but everyone is still keeping an eye on the possible pivot to tighter monetary conditions. As I speak to you right now, the Japanese yen is one of the currencies that's stronger against the dollar, up about a quarter of a percent. Looking ahead on the earnings front, today after the close, we get eight companies with market caps over a billion dollars including Logitech, United Airlines, and Zions Bancorp, a big regional. And tomorrow, before the market opens, it's a big day for earnings. We have 21 companies with market caps, over a billion dollars, including Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, General Electric, RTX, Lockheed Martin, Halliburton, 3M, Verizon, and DR Horton Homes. In terms of data, I already mentioned the BOJ rate decision is coming tonight. Tomorrow, new housing price index year over year in Canada, that's a December figure. Public net sector borrowing in the UK and the January flash consumer confidence data in the EU all happening tomorrow.